So then we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the word. <coughs> These documents were translated from the time of old, from the time of Israel, when Yahweh, the true creator, the heavens and the earth, gave the people a record of the future events via the prophecies. We understand very clearly the world is in such dire straits or in shambles, because the scripture existing most popularly was scoundrelized. It was twisted. That's why people are going to and fro. They have no understanding of heaven and then prophecies. As we understand very perfectly at this time, because we are reading from the Aramaic, Hebraic understanding, we are during the time of the rebuilding. It's not anymore time for war. We should refrain ourselves from war. The scriptures are very clear. We find in Yermiahu, in Yershiahu, we find them in Ezekiel, in Daniel, in Zechariah. The time of rebuilding. In the case, then, our president must, in this country, USA, he must make a strong statement in the next debate. So far, what he's presented is very weak. Extremely weak. He must make very clear the understanding of us, then, retrieving as he's doing it already. He's removing our military from the Middle East. Very wise. But then he has to substitute with trade. So then the democracies started, they have a focus point. Not requesting handouts, but a strong diplomatic political statement. And China can provide it. If we act decisively. And then encouragement of the partnership with Israel and China leading in a pathway of trade. So the countries developing and the countries changing to democracy, they have then a focus of trade. Whatsoever resources they have in their country, they promote themselves to work so they can trade. Because the power factory of the world, China, can then take in whatsoever resources they have in terms of minerals, energy, in exchange for decent and expensive products so they can rebuild. Thus bringing the encouragement for rebuilding their countries as they change from their old, unworking ways into the future. And then we must make clear we can establish then a relationship in the military understanding. Then China can provide patrols with the solely understanding of trades protection. They make a diplomatic statement, they make a trade, and they simply protect their cargo. Brings organization to every nation then they decide to do trade with. Then the encouragement of then Australia and China making very strong friendships so then the family of the Pacific and the islands drowning can have an international plan. And we, USA, we then retrieve from the world to rebuild. We must rebuild. We must remind ourselves where we came from. And as we do, then Africa can copy what we do. Because Yahweh has indicated China being then the country of the end trade. Where do you find the third parts of the ship? 
or the ships. You find it in China, they are leading the world in the market. Yahweh is indicating then the end of times trade and the nations and the kingdoms and the princes would do trade with. Every country changing from their dictatorship destroyed into then the trade diplomacy. Then China simply uses the military then to protect and to escort the cargo. And if they genuinely observe these factors, then they would respect. Then China can make also friendship with Iran. Because there are people that are going to a lot, dire straits, more than 100% inflation. And he is using his nuclear program for the benefit of the people. Then the developing countries in the Middle East, as they begin to do trade, and they are diplomatic, they receive their cargoes escorted by the military. And then because we understand the peace that comes with patrols escorting of then the cargo to those countries, then it is very Important then for Africa also to trade with them their minerals. Because they would receive in return products inexpensive for their rebuilding as we rebuild together. And then New Zealand makes partnership with Australia. Australia makes partnership with China and they take care of the Pacific. Relocating the people and helping them with international program to come in and then provide them what is required. But in the Pacific they can't bother the Chinese very much because they're going to be involved a lot in the Middle East. As we understand their influence and their military to produce and to provide stability. When Yahweh was speaking time of rebuilding he was not playing. Now the problem is becoming his idiot of Romney. He's an idiot. He doesn't understand the holy plan. And he's himself mixing up with his high and mighty broken. IMF has stated we have only four years to make sure we can recuperate our monetary system. And he is then enticing more war, giving arms, and then extending ourselves further without a plan of rebuilding. He's going to impose our junky policies, and then what it takes is only a snap of finger from the president of China. Don't send any more products to the U.S. Then we are ruined. And these would cause a civil war. 
The plan of Yahweh works either with him being stupid, as Roman is an idiot, in ruining our nation further until we are absolutely broken, or we can understand the plan of Yahweh and play by his agenda. Yahweh gets the last word, liking it or not. Rather than wasting time in patrols in uh, Somalia, pirates everywhere. Then we encourage them to do trade. But then we, USA, we retrieve for rebuilding. And then the Somalis also, they are in Africa, they are encouraged to rebuild. What are they stealing for? They have a lot of resources. Go over there in the mountains and get the ores. Send them to China for very nice purpose. So they can get products for their rebuilding. We are then being scoundrels and being pirates. Scoundrels, miserable people in the ocean, stealing. And then the Chinese patrols would go to the Middle East for protection and escort of their products until they reach port so they can rebuild. The Roman is an idiot, and he's already going around the military establishment brainwashing those stupid soldiers. They don't understand the scripture. It's not time for high and mighty junk. And people in the Middle East, because they have Eastern understanding and reason, a lot of people they say we are making the wrong move. But then the mighty and high stupid wants to do precisely contrary. It's not going to work. But every time the pure reason comes, then the stupidity of the high and mighty then wants to take over. And at this time we are cornered. We have only four short years to get our economy straightened out, not the world. Let the tough diplomacy of China take over. Because of time of rebuilding. You must be sober and put away this high and mighty stupidity. Doesn't work. Our president at the moment must make this case very clear so that he can continue the next four years. He maintained his line of thinking so then we can rebuild. Every time there is diplomacy of trade from China and the countries of the Middle East then produces peace. China has nuclear program. They can make a friendship and do exchange. In the basis of trade, 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 Iran has 100% inflation. As they come to deliver their products at the port, escorted.
What did we do when we were then transporting our products to England during the war? Did we not have escorts? That made the Germans back away from a bit. Simple analogy. They go out of their ports in China, then they come out with escorts until they deliver the products. And their presence then brings respect because it's for the purpose of rebuilding. It's not the purpose for war. So then the plan from Yahweh is extremely simple and very straightforward. The problem has become with this Romani. He's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't understand his scripture. He doesn't understand the prophecies. And he is involved with his high and mighty stupidity. He's going to ruin our country further. He doesn't understand the concept of his implementation of the foreign policies. He's going to force international people, they are going then to be against him. Yahweh has decided for the country of the trade of the end to take over. And the nations would do trade with this new system. What gives an understanding no country should be against this system. And that's why this new system has a military that was never involved in conflict. That's your clue. They were never invading other countries. They have a strict policy of trade and development. That's the time of rebuilding. So then the families of the Pacific Islanders, they are then having a plan. There is an international plan. can be headquartered in Australia. And they do a great job. They can join up with New Zealand. While we rebuild, then Africa rebuilds, establishing more trade. As far as this Europe, Germany decide to get ahead of this plan of a year, they got in trouble. They have to get away with it. They have to find a way out of it because Daniel said it would not come together. Because Yahweh had a plan of rebuilding. Each nation to his own rebuilding. That's why Daniel spoke what he spoke. The nation would not then come together and the nations would not come together Speaking of Germany, we try to come together with others who would not be able. And it's proven. Because Yahweh wants each country his own. But then they decide to do contrary of the word of Yahweh. They got in trouble. The entire Europe is in shambles. But Yahweh has reserved the factory of the planet, China. So they can understand His holy plan and get to work.
And Yahweh will to have his end at the end, and he will to have his way. We are cornered. Our economy won't hold at the end of the last four years. And if we impose our foreign policies, the countries are going to reject. And they're going to observe the stupidity of this country, they're going to join with China. And China says, man, we can simply don't ship any more products. Because the developing nations, they're going to be against us because our foreign policies are junk. And they're going to join up with them. Yahweh gets his way at the end. And we get ruined. So then Obama must be very specific. He has to have a plan. He has to point out this plan and then understand there are other nations. And a specific nation regarding trade very strong. And they can lead the way. While he simply continues to do what he was then doing. But he has to voice it out. He has to make this plan clear. Because the candidate is already poisoning the minds of the military. And the military weak doesn't understand the plan. The gun is high and mighty stupid. They can't think straight because they are so stupidly thinking in power and strength and going ahead and trying to take over the world. The world is going to reject us. Because it's not time for war. It's not time for conquest. It's time for rebuilding. So then we promote those countries with the power to do rebuilding. Where do you find this power? with a very big available military. So then later then we would not be complaining. And then the blacks, they're going to get the blame for it. Can't be sure of it because Obama then is half black. Oh, it was the worst government we ever had. And then when the plan goes down, at the end of the next four years, then we are ruined all because it was Obama. Rather than fight amongst us, then we should be helping Africa. While we rebuild at this moment, then Africa rebuilds. And then the minerals send them to the factory of the planet. So they can receive the products turned around with an expensive price. So they can rebuild. Works, doesn't it? And then a strong farming program. Please stay tuned, much more coming up, because then I'm going to show up verse by verse in the scripture regarding then the time of rebuilding, this time of rebuilding. But the idiot of Romney wants to entice war. It's scoundrel. Shimon said, Solomon said, there's a time for rebuilding, a time for destruction, a time for war, and a time for peace. It's time for peace and rebuilding. <laughs> 